Hello everybody, Sebastian Keynes back with you with another Watcher of Realms video. For this one, we are tackling the boss on the second phase of the Boy Rift on the hard mode. I'm just quickly going to go over the clip uh, that I collected in beating this boss. I will tell you that I did use some of my stronger units for this and I decided to bring in two marksmen, especially those that had a very long extension uh, beyond beyond uh, three uh, two tiles so they could take care of the tentacles that spawn out during this fight i decided to bring my stronger mage here in this case it's going to be vierna because she's going to deal with those soldiers that are coming out from the left hand uh, bottom left hand side of the screen i'm bringing in my two tanks of course because they're going to be the ones that are going to hold things up for us so our marksmen uh, can take care of business along with my one fighter which in this case is going to be uh, Silatoon, the reason that I'm using her for this is because she has the extension uh, in uh, her kit that allows her to um, tackle not only further away uh, from one tile, but uh, also on the sides in case I need to place her in a specific area of the map. Lastly, uh, the two healers. And in this case, I'm going to use my uh, HP based healers. One is Medan. Medan actually has one tile back coverage. So th 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 that comes in handy for this fight and along with Vortex because he has a very long extension. So I can use Vortex to protect my beer now. So that's kind of the setup for that. And uh, what I'm going to show you here is how we went about then doing uh, uh, the fight as a whole. And if I can, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to see if I can speed this up a little bit for you all. Okay, so we're gonna go out here at two x speed, but at the same time, I'm gonna try to uh, show uh, try to tell you why I placed the certain heroes the way that I did. Number one here, uh, what I want you to keep an eye on is that I did place my tank and my marksman. Of course, the tank to hold up the, the first ad that's coming down, but the marksman can easily tackle this um, this ad. And um, those are the ones that I would suggest you bring in to try to bring them down as soon as possible. But the one thing that I, that I also wanted to emphasize here is that usually you want to bring in a healer because these tentacles are going to uh, um, drain the HP from whoever they decide to wrap around. If you place your healer in too early, they will go after the healer, so don't do that. Wait for those tentacles to come up, for the boss to place those tentacles up, and then bring in your healer. Now your tank is protected, even though he is incapacitated there for a couple of seconds, while Hatsu is then trying to take him, take him out. Activated the ultimate just to get him out of the way as quickly as possible. You see the second ad coming about. So the other thing that I, that I want to tell you here is the marksman that I'm going to use for here because of his long extension is going to be Citrum. And the reason for that, um, uh, also, I had point him south instead of going to the side. And the reason for that is because if a tentacle spawns out of here, he will be able to cover that area fairly simple. And then we won't have to take too much damage from the tentacles. All right, so in this case here, now I'm waiting to place my mage. In this case, it's going to be Vierna with her AOE damage. And the reason for that is I want these guys out as soon as possible. I don't want them multiplying. I don't want them getting past this tank. So I'm just going to take him out right at the spot. And of course, she is vulnerable because she's going to get targeted. So what I decided to do is bring in Vortex for this. Vortex has the long extension. Vortex's main role here is to protect my mage. And in case the boss decides to put the tentacles on her too, that's the other reason that you want to make sure you have a healer that can protect your mage. All right, so right now it's all about timing the ultimates. Let's bring these big dudes down as soon as possible. Okay, so the, like I said, the reason that I bring in Silitu here is because I wanted coverage in case the tentacles did pop up. Luckily for me on this run, this first tentacle popped up on the top here. So that's where I'm gonna place Silitu. Now Silitu is gonna serve two roles. One is going to be to take down this tentacle and the other one is to help bring down this big guy. So I use that Citrum, brings in the ad, brings down the ads, no problem there. With my Birna, I'm waiting to use her ultimate now if, uh, for those little soldiers to come about. 
Okay, so this is kind of the worst case scenario here because I have no coverage when it comes to this tentacle. So at this point, I just decided I'm going to tank it. I'm going to try to tank it, but I do, um, in 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 this um, portion of the battle, I do lose Hatsu. And I did not get enough healing on her to recover for the second smack, but it was not detrimental to the run because I had Scylla to, to, um, to co uh, cover for Hatsu uh, for the period that she was dead to try to bring this ads down. So at least I had some form of damage up top here and they, I wasn't putting my tank at a disadvantage. On this side here, you just keep an eye. I'm trying to use my ultimates at the precise moment to tackle these soldiers and get them out of the way. Okay, so at this point here, what I decided to do is I'm going to use the ultimate here to protect my uh, broker, but at the same time, I'm recalling. Um, I'm, uh, now that I'm done with the soldiers, I'm recalling Bierna. And the reason for that is I'm going to bring her to the, plat the main platform here to take down the boss. All right, so now all the tangles are spanning out. Luckily, we didn't get it up here. In, in this case too, if you wanted to, now thinking about it, you can recall Vortex as well, because Vortex's main role was to um, keep everybody, um, keep Vierna safe. So if you want to, because there's enough cost being built, you can recall them both at the same time. And then, um, like you see me here now placing the Vierna up here, you can then also bring in and now bring extra coverage um, by bringing Vortex to this platform here. So there, you saw me activate the ultimate there, and uh, I brought down, um, I brought down the the, the boss uh, with uh, my marksman. And like I was saying, if you want to bring Vortex here, now you get extra coverage. You might also need it in case the RNG just for some reason decides to bring out this tentacle here instead of here, where Sertrum was able to cover him really well. So that was it. That was the battle. That's how I decided to tackle it. Based on your roster, you can possibly uh, follow a similar strategy and uh, see how that goes. Um, all right. So I would like to thank you all for watching this video on the phase two, the hard boy rift or this boss. And I will see you all in another Watcher Realms video with phase three. I will leave you now with the builds of the champions that are of the heroes that I use for this battle. And also one of the things that I that tried to do and I kept was to just use gear that I had collected from gear raids uh, one, two and three from the 18 stages to just to show you that it can be done without the fancy gear from stage 19. So I'll see you all on the next one. Take.